Ugly, retarded, fat, disgusting, and worthless. Are these the words that really describe me? Bullying is everywhere. It's at school, work, home, and everyone in any place can be vulnerable to it. Repetition and an imbalance of power make bullying unique. It is widely discussed that bullying is a result of aggressive behavior. Bullying is a repetitive act that occurs over time. This differs from aggressive acts that occur only once. Bullying involves an imbalance of power between the bully and the victim. In 2015, one out of every three students have reported being bullied during the school year. And in this school year span, 41,149 national suicide attempts were reported. That would mean 113 deaths a day. Many of these victims were bullied or felt alone. This just goes to show that everyone has a chance to make someone's day feel a little bit better. We sat down to talk with some relatable students about bullying and how it has really impacted their growth as a person. I've seen teasing, um, like, and other people pushing each other for no reason because one kid got angry. It made me feel sad and kind of scared actually because um, it just, it was scary because I was afraid it was going to happen to me and I didn't want anyone else to get hurt by it. So bullying is being mean to one person over and over and over again, and if you have, even if you have no connection to that person whatsoever, whereas being mean, it's just being mean to like a friend and saying something that's somewhat of a joke but may not really be a joke. So your friends are your friends, and bullying for me is once you're not friends with someone and they keep doing the same thing over and over again, that's really bullying because you're not friends with them, you know they're not joking, and they're just making fun of you for no reason or whatever it is. Bullying is personally victimizing someone where, like, if you had a target and you wanted to um, be really mean to them, and plain mean behavior is just, you know, saying rude things for really no reason. And an example of that would be while you're hanging out with your friends and you're, they're just kind of like teasing you about random things, but they say it over and over again, so that's not really hurting your feelings just because you're friends. But when it's bullying, the line for me is when you, it kind of gets old after a while and it's just a random person just egging you on of over nothing. People bully because they feel insecure or maybe even threatened. They do it as sort of a way to seek status and seem superior to other people. I think a way we could end bullying is educating students and showing them that it's really not okay. Even if you do think it's a joke, they may not think it's a joke. Okay, so one way to protect yourself from bullying is to talk to a trusted adult, I'd say. A trusted adult, a friend really helps you out. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking to a counselor. A counselor, yep. Um, counselors, trusted adults, friends, grandparents, any relatives are great to talk to for bullying. Mm -hmm. Maybe even try talking to the bully and seeing why they're yeah. doing this. Help out the bully and maybe he'll stop bullying mm -hmm. you eventually. So having a good group of friends can also help protect you against bullying? Yeah, you can really stick along with your friends in case something bad happens and then they can help you through your situation. If someone bullies you, you can just it makes you stronger so you can just learn to roll off your back and continue with your day. As bullying can be somewhat of a difficult topic for anyone to discuss, we had a brave volunteer who was willing to share his own personal story in regards to bullying. In the bathrooms, a kid threw wet paper towels at me and looked over the stall and talked mean things about my parents. I just feel like, you know, like just like, you know, over the myth. M middle, I just don't feel like happy every day because usually that's how I used to act when, you know, when the boy's not around.
Bullying can happen to anyone, at any time, and at any place. A common misconception that people often have is that bullying is only physical. This, however, is false. Bullying can happen through verbal behavior, cyber connections, and through physical actions. Not many have had the chance to ask their bully, or just a bully in general, why they do what they do. It can be a scary thing for anyone to confront a reoccurring problem. And we actually had the chance to sit down with someone who has a hard time putting two and two together, that he was a childhood bully. It was, nev it was never ever physical, um, but it was kind of like verbal teasing is what I did a lot to them. And, and um, I think it was because it was uh, l like what everyone else was doing, I feel. Um, it was, I I'm not going to say socially acceptable, but they were kind of the weird, you know, group. They were kind of the oddballs. They were kind of easy pickings, basically. Um, so, you know, I called them names from time to time. Again, I don't think I bullied them per se, but I definitely made their lives harder. Um, I did end up apologizing to them in fifth grade because I kind of understood how they felt because I was kind of the oddball then. Although all of these possibilities might seem hopeless, you can make it through by remembering the acronym ACT. The A in ACT stands for Acting on Reports of Behavior. C, Caring for both the victim and the bully without supporting anyone's behaviors. And T, Talking to others who believe that bullying should not be in people's lives. There's two types of bullying that we see at school. There's verbal and there's physical. Physical is when you're hurting someone physically, like punching or hitting them. Verbal is where you're making fun of them with words. Yo, look, that loser. What up? We hope that if you see these things, you will step in. It really takes each individual to make a difference in this. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait up. I got this. Uh, hey, guys. Get the heck out of here. Seriously. Hey, man. Are you okay? You alright? Thanks. That was very nice of you. Let me know if they bother you again. Overall, you can get help. You are not the words they call you. You are so much more than what they think. And most importantly, you must remember that you are never alone.